Hey game designers, I'm Jeremy Vaughn, one of the organizers of Enga Demo, and today's video is about how to run a playtest. Um, so, as you can see here, I have just reached a point in my Enga Demo game where uh, the game doesn't work. This is the first time I've played through my first playtest, and I got to the point where it just isn't going to happen. And this is a really important point, and it's a point that everyone reaches. This is the place where, for the first time, I could start iterating, I could start making something new. Um, so every game is going to go through multiple iterations, and every iteration, even if it's worse than the last iteration, is going to help you get closer to that great game that you want to make. So here are some important steps for playtesting and iteration. Step one, start early. Get testing as soon as you can, as soon as you have something playable. Uh, I made these cards last night, and today was the first chance I had to actually use them. Um, and yeah, I made some bad decisions, but that's fine. Now I know about those, and I can move on to improving them. And you won't find the bad decisions until you start playing. Step two, start small. Start with just you. This is a four-player game. I played it by myself, and I was able to find some of the most sort of egregious issues. Step three, trusted friends. Bring in a friend or two, have them play test the game with you, and these are the people who are gonna play the game multiple times and really be able to give you sort of a uh, over the long term response to your game. Um, this is a great time to take your game to an Inga demo play test, either find one in your area or host one yourself. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Step four, take notes. I always carry a Moleskine notebook with me, it's a great way to take notes. Um, even better, you can ask your players if they would mind you recording audio of the session or even recording video. That can be super helpful. But good or bad, anytime someone makes a comment on the game, write it down. Don't analyze it yet. Just write it down. Step five, review your notes. After you've written all your notes down, go back and look for core issues. Look for things that maybe are the underlying complaints behind various things that people said. Uh, you might think you remember everything after the playtest, but you never ever do. That's why you took notes, is to go back and look at them and see what's going on. Step six, iterate. After reviewing your notes, you're going to have several changes that you think you might want to make to your game. Try and limit the number that you make. Because if you change too many things at the same time, you aren't going to be able to tell which one of those changes made the game better or made the game worse. However, whichever thing you choose to change, whichever one or two things you choose to change, make bigger changes rather than small changes. If you start out here and you jump to here and it's a big change, then somewhere in the middle you're probably going to find what, where the real sweet spot is. So. You know, if the game isn't chancy enough, so you add more chance to the game, add a bunch of chance, and then it's too chancy, and you can sort of find something in between. If you just make an incremental change, and you really needed to get out here, and you make several incremental changes, it's really hard to tell how far you need to go. So make a big change to one thing, and that'll help you zero in on the right decisions for your game. Step seven, keep testing. Play test this game as much as you can with as many people as you can, each time you play through, you'll get different results. Um, you want to be aware of flukes. Like a fluky game would be something really weird happens that's very different from any other play through the game. So don't trust a fluky game. If, if it feels like something kind of strange is happening, um, play through that and take notes and everything, but uh, play the game again. Don't make decisions based on a fluky game. So uh, last couple of things I wanted to tell you. I wanted to talk about hosting Inga Demo playtests. It's a great thing to do. When you host, we recommend hosting in a public place. You know, we want everybody to be safe, right? Um, but find find a, a cafe or something like that and just host something. Library is a good place for this. Campuses are a good place for this. But host it in a public place. That's what we recommend. And then the last thing, just want to remind you about the resources page. I'm going to be posting some resources up there pretty soon talking about how I made these cards. I use this great software called Nandeck to build these cards from, uh, from a spreadsheet that I made. Uh, and also we're going to have some videos from various designers out there about you know, ways to make good cards and, and things like that. So I hope you'll check it out. Thanks for checking this video out and uh, have fun designing games. Take care.